Harvest of Thanks is brought to you by John Deere. Your land, your brand. Technology, equipment, and support to help you farm better now and generations from now. Well, the first Thanksgiving meal probably didn't have a lot of the traditional things we eat today, mashed potatoes, stuffing, and the like, you know, all the good stuff. More than likely, scholars say it would have been made of seafood, fresh vegetables, cornmeal, and deer for meat, but certainly not goats. And one of the rarest breeds of goats in the world brought by English settlers is finding a home here in the Midwest. We visited Connor Prairie, Indiana, for a look at a couple of kids and an effort to preserve history. You first got a glimpse of these exceptional kids last year. They aren't just any goat. You're looking at Arapaw goats, one of the rarest breeds of goats in the world. It's a phenomenal feeling, you know, to be able to uh, work to maintain a, a breed that's uh, effectively endangered. But thanks to this team, the breed that was originally brought here by English settlers is finding a new home once again in the Midwest. I've seen in the last 10 years, you know, we have gone from five goats here up to 35 goats. I've watched the breed go from just a couple um, active breeders to, you know, we're at 25, 30 active breeders right now. And thinking about it in the future is just really exciting to know that the work that we're doing today is really going to influence where the breed goes in the future and hopefully for their success. Knowing the Arapaw breed was on the verge of extinction, Connor Prairie, which is a hands-on historical museum based in Indiana, teamed up with RSG, which stands for Reproduction Specialty Group, and they did so with one goal, to save the breed. The last season was a, was a phenomenal success, and so we were able to use the <clears throat> frozen semen genetics uh, from the Smithsonian and, and partnered up with uh, Connor Prairie. So we, I think we achieved a little over an 80%, pretty close to an 82% conception rate on those goats. So phenomenal success. Um, they, were, they were thrilled, the babies were born, everything went quite well there. With Arapaw being a heritage breed, they didn't have a lot of data to pull from. But thanks to technology from RSG, the mission to reproduce this breed was a grand success. Because of the success we had last year, uh, Connor Prairie decided to move uh, one step farther into what's called uh, embryo transfer. And so it's multiple ovulation embryo transfer. And everything kind of went as planned and the technology was able to marry up with the with the need for maintaining the heritage breed and, and we had, had great success. We worked with RSG to um, inseminate another round of does using Smithsonian semen and we were able to do an embryo transfer with some of the semen that we got um, from a buck that we used last year. The team was able to successfully collect seven embryos, five of which were put into does and the other two were frozen and sent to the Smithsonian. They've been really lovely people to work with and have been really excited to have um, new genetics brought into their germplasm bank. It's that offspring that was then sent across the U.S. From the seven does that we did AI on, six of them did settle and we ended up having 10 kids. Um, from those kids, we have sent bucks off to North Carolina, Missouri, Kansas, and Washington State. So we've helped spread genetics through breeders that we knew. A dual purpose breed that's valuable for its meat and its milk. Take the today's modern technology and and partner with them and marry that back to uh, maintaining and, and developing this heritage breed is is just phenomenal. The kid growing up on the farm, it uh, you, you see you, you look down the path of life and, and whether that's school or or careers or jobs and things like that, you know it's it's. Um, uh, you have big dreams and aspirations and and these are some of the dreams that you don't know you dream about until you experience it and so it's kind of a it's kind of a dream come true to be able to uh, help and maintain those type of those type of initiatives that are uh, are greater than we are it's the work here that's preserving the past while also growing a new future